So in this video, let's chat about how do I bring all of that real-world collected data, points, lines, and polygons into, in various formats into my geographic information system, specifically inside ArcGIS Online. We'll find out that it's really easy to do this, and it's really powerful because you can start analyzing things spatially. Let's demonstrate how you can take a latitude-longitude based file containing data and map that easily and quickly inside ArcGIS Online. For example, if I go to the USGS Earthquake Hazards Program here, and I'm going to do a search on earthquake epicenters. What I want is a spreadsheet format, comma delimited. Let's say I want to look at all of the earthquakes March of 2011. This, as you know, was the month of the devastating earthquake in Japan this year, in 2011. So I'm going to go from March 1 through March 31. Let's go ahead and limit it to everything 4 and above. Here are my results. Alt-A to select them all and copy them. Now I'm in Notepad, I'm going to paste. If I scroll to the top, I've got a couple things I need to fix, simply because that's the way it outputs from the internet. I'm going to add a header row here. Year, month, day, time, lat, long, mag, depth, and a comment. Basically, I need a column header for every piece of data that's to follow. Looks pretty good. I'm going to save it now. March 2011 earthquakes 4 and higher. .txt. Great. Okay, here's my file right there on my laptop called March 2011 Earthquakes 4 and Higher .txt. I'm going to go over here to ArcGIS Online and pull up a world map. Okay, here's my world map. If I drag this file now onto my world map, I can map what's in my file. Okay, there's my map. I've got all the earthquakes mapped from March 2011. Let's go ahead and zoom over here to Japan. Wow! I can also change the symbology though. Let's say I wanted to map the larger earthquakes in a bigger symbol. I can do that. If I go over here and change symbols, I don't want single symbol. I want them based on size. How about magnitude? So I select size and I also want it to be larger based on the magnitude and I'm pretty happy with that so I'm going to go ahead and apply let's say I want the eights and nines to be really standing out here how about if I make those quite large apply done let's take a look here now okay mm -hmm. 